fuck y'all dick wads on? Fucking dick weeds. Fuck y'all dick wads on, man. All the dick wobs and bops and fuck niggas and snitch niggas, hating niggas, envy. It's envy a real one, man. You know what I'm saying? Sandwich bag money. Sandwich bag money, my nigga. You know, I love sandwich bag money. Child long, fuckers. Damn. So this whole time, y'all. Fuck boys. Get y'all shit together, big homie. Get y'all shit together, big homie. Where it is watching me, man. I don't like that shit. Where it is watching me, man. What's the word? Hey, who, hey, who watch me right now be on their studio shit? Who wanna make music, man? Who know a good-ass engineer, man? Now, if I, I got an engineer, my nigga Jojo Smith had. My nigga Joseph Smith hooked me up with. I forgot all about that shit. Dude probably think I sent them all. Damn. There's two motherfuckers that think I sent them all. Tell my ass. He think I sent them all. Oh, my God. He told the whole gang. Folks sent me off, folks. Tell me he gonna give me 3500 for the feature. Man, folks, don't trip. I got you, folks. So let a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Run it up a little bit more. Motherfuckers thinking about starting a clothing line, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers thinking about doing, making these boss moves, man. You know, niggas just been stacking every day, making money every day, and staying out the fucking way every day. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make, trying to make a way out here, man. Okay. Real shit. Man. I just try to motivate everybody I fuck with, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I'm a five figure nigga. I ain't no six figure nigga yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Nigga working on it, man. I just wish I had more support. You know what I'm saying? There's too many motherfucking haters out here. They don't like support, man. You know? But my advice to y'all, though, if a motherfucker ain't supporting, they ain't important, man. And that's real shit. Motherfucker gotta be offering something more than just a, a fucking friendship. I mean, loyalty and friendship is cool, but if a motherfucker ain't trying to be no asset in your life, they're a liability. You know? Motherfucker need to be assets, man. Motherfucker need more assets in their life, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the bullshit. Like, if a motherfucker ain't trying to get to the money with you, and, and don't be on no no big eye little you shit, no fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some motherfucker you want to keep around. But if a motherfucker only around and they 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 ask you for shit more than they try to 
support you and add to your motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, why? I call them useless eaters, man. You know? Shit, I'm just trying to make a way for everybody to come up. Now I'm talking to myself. If one of them likes saying niggas count money, man. But if I was on here getting my ass whooped or something, or about to box or some shit like that, or some toxic shit, this motherfucker will blow up. But you know what they say. When you're on the ground, when you want to come up, your audience be empty. But once you make it, your audience be sold out, man. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't shit but today's money. No cap. My goal was to try to make a thousand dollars a day. Still working on it. Everybody goal should be making a thousand dollars a day, at least five hundred a day. It sound hard to do, but it ain't hard to do. You just gotta put the pedal to the metal, stay focused, stop turning up, and cut out some of your habits, man. And grind, hustle. You know what I'm saying? If you're working, cool. Find another hustle. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't know how to get rich. The only way you can get rich is having multiple streams of income. you got to have more than one, more than two, more than three, at least four or five streams of income that, that can put it like this. You want at least want to be able to put, save 3000 a month. Even 1000 a month, that, that's still good. You know what I'm saying? It's 12 months in a year. If you're able to save 1000 a month, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's 12000 a year just in savings. You know what I'm saying? That's a start. Even just 500 a month. Motherfucker need to learn how to save, man. Fuck them motherfucking Jordans. Fuck them motherfucking designer clothes. That's all that shit gonna come once you get to the finish line. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. And the worst thing to do is to be in a fucking relationship when you're on the ground. With a motherfucker that ain't trying to hustle or nothing. Motherfucker ain't trying to. Motherfucker, all they want you to do is just pay bills and get on fucking play money. That's a liability, man. Real shit. It's all cool if you love a motherfucker. But it become a point where a motherfucker got to start being an asset and, and stop being a liability. That's when you know if a motherfucker really fuck with you. If a motherfucker see you on the grind, see you working hard, see you trying, they supposed to help you out, man. You know? I'm gonna wait another time to count this shit. Put this shit up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I came a long way. Long, 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 long way. Motherfucker that know me, know me. They know I came a long way. Real shit. Came a long motherfucking way, man. I ain't trying to stop. You know, motherfuckers get a little money, get five, ten bands, get comfortable. Fuck all that. They ain't no fucking money. A million dollars ain't even no money. I'd have spent over a million dollars in my whole lifetime. Well over. And probably a lot more people probably did. But motherfuckers ain't seen it because we spent it. Party, kicking it, being young, immature. You know? I make these motherfucking lives for educational purpose. You know, a lot of y'all just want to be looking for toxic shit on this blue app. But if you come on my motherfucking live, you're going to learn something. Feel me?
my shit, they gonna learn something. Real shit. Every time I go live, I try to teach somebody something, man. Niggas out here doing this and smoking that za. Motherfucking pockets on now. And y'all, and y'all, y'all females be the same motherfuckers go lay down with them type of motherfuckers. Wonder why you ain't getting nowhere. When you come on my lab, your ass gonna learn something today. Motherfuckers love to come to this blue app for that toxic shit. Y'all gonna learn something today watching this live for real. Outside. Motherfuckers get mad and be like, all, all you talk about is money, all you talk about is this. I talk about it because a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of y'all don't even know how to really get to five figures in y'all account. How you gonna get to six figures? You don't even know how to get five figures. A motherfucker think everybody wanna try to open a business and shit, don't even know how to get a business loan. People think getting a secure credit card on your on your credit report and know and, and know how to utilize credit is gonna Make the banks give you a a, a a business loan. They ain't going to fuck with you. You gotta know what you you gotta know what you supposed to have on your report to even for them to even fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would the banks give you a, a, a fucking loan and you got a secure credit card on your fucking credit report? They gonna be like shit. And 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 and, and don't be using more than motherfucking thirty percent. You know what I'm saying? If you if you last less than twenty percent on your shit, if you got a secure credit card. You feel me? It's okay. All depends what 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 your limit is. But if you want like if you want them ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar credit lines and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to get them secured loans on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just cause you got the money to buy something straight out, it ain't always a good thing. Like say if you want to buy a car, you got like ten bands, you want to go buy a car. Instead of you dropping. You know what I'm saying? The whole 10 bands on the car, paying it off, straight out, off, straight off the lot. Put down half. Go to the credit union, get a, get a secured loan for the other half. You know what I'm saying? For 5000 Once you get that on report and you pay it off with no late fees and no no negative points against you, then the bank's going to look at that shit. Okay, 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 I see you know how to, you know what I'm saying, handle 5000 you know what I'm saying? Then it's like the higher the, the higher secure loans you get, the more, the more it show the banks that you're able to handle a certain amount. You feel me? And they also look at where, where, where it's getting spent, what it's getting spent on. You know what I'm saying? So it's all it's just about showing the banks that you're you, you responsible. But the bank wants you to go in debt any fucking way. So you want to be smart. You want to make sure that them, that you pay it off as quick as possible so you won't have to pay no ass interest rates. You want to pay little to no interest. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, it comes to crazy banks. You feel me? A lot of motherfuckers charge people to tell you how this. You, know, you can't get this information in no school. And a lot of these you know, shit, you know what I'm saying? The way I talk, you would think I'm in my 30s. I'm shit, but 28 years old, man. <laughs> For real, I'll be 29, December 29th, my golden birthday. Y'all gonna learn something today. Y'all gonna learn how to get to the bag <laughs> today. If you know, if, if a motherfucker, if you a motherfucker don't know how to keep a job and shit like that, I guarantee you the information I give you is gonna make your ass go get a job ASAP. Because uh, the key is to work and be and, and become self-efficient. Ain't nothing wrong with having a job, but you don't want to spend your whole life at, at working working at a place that's not gonna even put you in the fucking vice president's chair. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. And a lot of these niggas they want to be rappers. They want to do this. Want to do that. But a lot of these niggas don't even know if you was getting if you had a bag, you can buy your fucking way in the music independent. You don't even need no fucking label. But niggas so fucking lazy. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about men and women. You know, some motherfuckers so lazy. Everybody want a quick, a quick come up. But the quick come ups, the motherfuckers them come ups that that's gonna go away as quick as you get it. Because you appreciate it. Cause you, you think you better do it again. That's why a lot of motherfuckers be having them 10 bands and 20 bands and fall off. I'm one of them. Shit. I'm one of them niggas. They can have 10, 20,000, get comfortable. Because the shit was, was up for stain or lick, whatever the case may be. And think, okay, fuck it, I'm going to blow this shit. I can get it back. Then once the shit gone, 
Motherfucker be looking stupid, feeling some type of way. Like, damn, how I just fucked this shit up? You feel me? That's the worst feeling in fucking world. To, to blow through a large amount of lump sum that you know you could have did something else with the sun when that money in your hand, your fucking, your, your thinking be cloudy. Your mind be cloudy as fuck. <laughs> For real. <laughs> they got 10,000 things in their mind that they can do to, to, to make a move to get some real money. So as that money get in hand to make the opportunity happen, that shit go right out the fucking window. Motherfuckers be buying cars, clothes, getting their kids, all type of shit, jewelry, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't even think to pay their rent up, pay up anything. You feel me? But yeah, the motherfuckers can to get you where you gotta go if you're trying to open up the at the end of the day. Secure, but them secure credit cards, they are able to just start off, you know what I'm saying? Gotta, especially if you don't know about credit. If you don't know about credit, go to secure um, credit card. You responsible and you know how you know what to do and you know what your goal is. Start off with them secure loans. You know what I'm saying? Like at least have like over a thousand dollars in your savings with a credit union in and a motherfucking um, regular bank. Then you can get. Then once the, once you show them you responsible, they gonna fuck with you. They gonna fuck with you on the business credit cards, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? The business credit cards, that shit is what you want, though. Because no matter how much you fuck up your business credit, it never report on your personal credit. So your, so your business credit is going to be fucked up. But your personal credit will still be A1. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can juggle that and use that to pay off your business credit shit. You feel me? And just pay a monthly bill. Yeah. Getting y'all the game today. Question is, who the fuck gonna use this game I'm giving y'all to actually put that shit into motion? You know what I'm saying? There's more women out here doing that shit than niggas, though. That's the sad part. Like, these niggas, man. Even if you were on the block hustling, nigga, you could do this shit with hustle with shit money. Niggas, niggas just dumb. Niggas too comfortable with being dumb when they're about fucking woman, man. You get your own. You got brains. If you smart, and you able to, and you able to lead a motherfucker, that's a man's job. That's a man's job is to lead. If you can't lead, ain't no real woman gonna respect you. And if she respects you, and she got a daddy in her life, her daddy ain't gonna respect you. Her mama ain't gonna respect you. You know what I'm saying? And then you gonna end up being a nigga and, and, a, and with a female that her family members don't even fuck with you because they know you a fuckboy. You don't know shit. You a dumb motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers don't care though. You gotta care, you gotta want this shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers look at my fuck my Facebook think I'm just another average ass nigga. Nah, I'm I'm, I'm versatile with this shit. Yeah. And I'ma repeat that one more time. Your business credit do not affect your personal credit. It's two different things. Two different. Yeah, yeah. But for those that want one-on-one -on -one coaching, my inbox is always free. You know what I'm saying? I am a night owl. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, I'm willing to help whoever. For real. You know what I'm saying? First two sessions free. And any session after that, it's a small fee. I ain't going to tax nobody because I want motherfuckers to be successful. talk about real estate. Now, I got land in Mississippi that I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got the man to do anything with right now, but my goal is to retire there. You know what I'm saying? So, by that being said, I'm learning everything I can about real estate when it comes to building, when it comes to utilizing credit with real estate. Like, people think Going into debt is a bad thing. Going into debt can be a good thing when it comes to paying your taxes every year too. 
That's why a lot of these fucking billionaires and these millionaires don't pay taxes at all. That's why they fucking with Trump. These motherfuckers know billionaires and m most millionaires don't pay taxes. But they know the child don't know how that shit work. So they want to try to make it seem like Trump a crooked motherfucker because he don't pay taxes. Try to get him to show him his tax reforms and all that shit. But they ain't showing they shit. Because they, they know how the game go, man. They just taking advantage of our race. Try to vote Democrat by default. Motherfuckers voting Democrat for over 50 years and we still ain't got shit. To be honest, I made more money under the Trump administration than I did in the Obama administration. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It all depends what state you went to. I tell motherfuckers this all the time. If you're in Minnesota and you broke, you just want shit. Like, ain't no excuse. Ain't no motherfucker. Ain't no felony. Having felonies, no excuse. None of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But this pandemic shit, it, it made it harder for real estate gang for beginners. But you can start off with a little nothing. You can start with $500. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you can start off in real estate with $500. Wholesaling. Wholesaling property. All you gotta do, don't go on no Zillow, no Trulia, none of them hot pads, apps, none of that. You know what I'm saying? All you do is go. Nah, I, I, I ain't gonna say it on my live. I'm only gonna tell motherfuckers who's serious about it what websites to go on to find wholesale properties that need to be fixed up. You know what I'm saying? Because you got people out there that spend money on fucked up cribs and fix them up and get a big profit. You know what I'm saying? First thing first is finding the home. Find figure out what state is in. Finding a buyer. See, on Facebook, you create a motherfucking business page and put a little money behind your behind your post and turn it into an ad and it get sponsorship through Facebook and Instagram. And you can find a buyer just like that. Everybody doesn't know how that shit works. But say, for example, you buy like a, a duplex five hundred dollars this fall. Up, they need to be fixed. They come out of your pocket, two hundred extra dollars to get a private inspector or something like that to come out. So it's all wrong with it. And you were estimate how much it's gonna take to get the property move, move in ready. You know, what I'm saying? for a tenant. And then boom, once you get the estimate, now you know what number you price for, so you can make your profit. You got to tell the buyer how much money, like an accurate number, of how much money it's gonna take for them. To fix that place up and sell it for a big profit. See, you you make the profit on the wholesale because you just starting off. You know what I'm saying? This is something that I'm working on right now. Me and my cousin Emilia. You know, this is something that we talked about. We talked about dealership license and all this shit. You know? But this shit is in the making. You know? It ain't going to happen no night. You got to be dedicated to this shit. You got to be really tired. Before another motherfucker, you gotta really invest all that time. All the time you invest into a job, invest that shit into yourself. It's the main thing that people can't get over when it comes to being an entrepreneur is fear. People be scared of what might happen, but instead of just going for it, because you gotta you gotta think like this. You gotta be able to live with trying hard to be an entrepreneur than passing away without even trying at all. You would never know what would happen. I can't hell no, I can't live with that. I'd rather go broke on trying to make investments than going broke partying and bullshit. And then it's it's not easy. But if you got a partner, if you got a man or you got a, you with a woman in a relationship and y'all getting to the bag together, the, the, the amount of risk you would better take will be higher. Because you, know, you got you got a backbone that's going to help you. You feel me? But if you're doing it by yourself, you got to be more cautious. And you just got to look for more more lucrative investments. You know what I'm saying? I wish I'd known this shit five years ago. Shit. If I, even if I did know, know about this shit five years ago, I probably still would have never did it. Because I was too fucking immature, too much, trying to look rich instead of trying to get rich. You feel me? Like, for real, for real. I ain't no dummy, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And the sad part is, though, niggas and women need to start. If, if you're going to if you're gonna fuck with somebody, fuck with somebody that can teach you something. Fuck with somebody you can actually grow with. I mean, like, grow, I mean, really grow. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can, can fuck somebody good. Shit, leave you with that ass. Then what after that? <laughs> what after that? Just going to play house for the rest of y'all life and just pay bills? You feel me? That shit ain't no fucking fun. They ain't, they ain't no way of living. And people wonder why marriages in the black community is not, it's, it's a low percentage. And then if most of do get married, it's a half percentage that you're going to get divorced. Because motherfuckers don't have a plan. Relationship is a fucking business, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be with a motherfucker that got a plan. I'm speaking to you motherfucking niggas out there. They, they always want to fake being in a relationship with a female. You know, damn well, you ain't got that woman best interest. You feel me? What you want to do is lay up, fuck, get a hot meal cooked, pay a few bills, and think you the fucking man. You ain't no fucking man. You a fucking... What they call that? I can't figure out the word right now. You a fucking peasant, man. Even if you a job, you're a fucking peasant. That job is it's only going to get you so far. Make sure you pay if you can drop on your drink. Mm -mm. Guess what, though? I just got a job that was paid $24 an hour. Why I quit that job? I ain't have a fucking life. I couldn't handle it. was taking too much time away from the shit I really wanted to do life. You know what I'm saying? We were on another hood movie. You know what I'm saying? We already got three keys. Three keys on YouTube right now. The fuck with it. It's at 6,000 views right now. One month. For a Foku movie. You know what I'm saying? With two niggas. That don't got a budget. We got them. No Hollywood type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? get a visual out there. My first go watch the plug love. And I'm going to go for that shit. They watch three keys, man. Go ahead and support me. Support my nigga Tom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, music. Movies. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what shit I got going on. I can't be in no fucking job. They got the right to call me on my fucking off day. Like, motherfuckers work too much without the fucking off day. 10, 11 hours shit. Sometimes 16, 16 hours. You feel me? Money, don't get me wrong. This motherfucker's another nigga. Ten bands a month. You feel me? My first shit made money. My first shit, guess what? I ain't a chance to enjoy that shit. I'm just not having a chance to enjoy that shit. Because I get the fuck with it. You feel me? But now I'm not going to know what I want to do. I got to capitalize on this shit. You know? So I'm trying to get money out here. You gotta apply yourself and, and ask questions. You know, if you know a motherfucker that's an entrepreneur and you know they they, they doing decent for themselves, ask them questions, man. Don't see, even if a motherfucker asks questions, you gotta know the, the right questions to ask, man. Like if a motherfucker see you see a motherfucker riding in a nice ass foreign car. Ask them, don't ask them how much they pay for ask them how to get it. What, what do you do for them that, that, that allow you to, uh, to be able to afford? Like, man, what you do for a living? How you was for the baddies? You feel me? And he was like, he ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? At least. But still, though, Talisa, Talisa fucking Bugatti is on two of them. You feel me? You make some type of fucking money. Just, just to rent the motherfuckers four or five minutes an hour. You know what I'm saying? All the people where you went, Cali, that shit probably stands an hour. I'm making some type of fucking money. I bet you use fucking credit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rich motherfuckers don't use cash. Like the only motherfuckers you see that's rich in cash is celebrities, rappers, and shit. Probably, you can't even say actors. Actors, they use credit. They use they use credit cards. They really put everything on the credit card. You know what I'm saying? All that history. Even the dumbest 
as rappers in the fucking day and cover this shit and drop $500,000 on the land. Just more for the pain and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just for the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? 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 It's less than 15% of your fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Get no real paper. You know what, man? If I get over six figures, I get a million dollars. I'm sure my fucking do it. Fucking the, the, the knowledge, the knowledge game. The fucking point of the history. You know what I'm saying? The point of it. The only thing I just talk about. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's all right. Get your motherfucking learn from. Any nigga can get a job and pay bills. But not any nigga can get their they fucking kid in the future. Not any nigga can build generation wealth. Both ways. You watch the motherfucking time after shit. Why you playing? Most definitely don't need to use one show where they're 50, 60 years old. And also, when you try to retire, you ain't got shit to retire on. For real. Fuck that. I done seen too many motherfuckers in my family. And people that I know live and pass away and let their family in. That motherfucker trying to travel on change just to be a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? How many motherfuckers know that? How many loved ones that they have to the stress and find I need to bury the bury them shit? We got a loved one, then they fall down, then they lay for you when they 50, they 60, still working the fucking job. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know, this crazy. Letting a motherfucker around me or close me. Then I'm getting my head. I'm going to go out. 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 I'm going to go And that's just real shit. But 
time I go back to think about real shit. Only time I think about crazy if I'm ever really trying to get in person with me. I just come out with a book. That's gonna come later. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I can't really try to profit off some shit that I'm just not starting to really understand my damn stuff. But once that time do come, and I'm showing motherfuckers myself, oh yeah, motherfuckers most definitely gonna come up for the frame of this book. You know what I'm saying? You found me in the frame of this Sit around, eat 